This is the second lesson in learning the addition tables. And previously, in the previous lesson, um, the children used the red and blue wooden number rods to make combinations of 10. Um, and that was an introduction to adding. Um, they can also repeat that lesson, making combinations of nine, eight, seven, six, and so on. And at that level, answers don't need to, re don't need to be recorded. Um, this lesson, we will be using the colored bead bars and we will be recording answers because this might be the first time a child has seen these symbols. You might start by introducing this is the plus symbol and this means plus or add. This is the equals symbol. So we can say three plus five equals and we write our answer here. Now, at first, the numbers are written um, in these large boxes, and the answer is highlighted here in red, and we skip a line in between equations, and that's to help the child visually see the process of reading and writing out the answer to an equation, because this might be a first introduction. All right, now the purpose of this lesson is to helps uh, children understand that idea of number consistency, that numbers are always the same and they don't have to be counted every time. Now you won't tell them that, but eventually they will discover that on their own. So with the colored bead bars, each quantity is always the same color and they're fixed together, okay? Now, if this is the first time the child has used these bead bars, you'll want to, of course, introduce each, each quantity. And you can do so by, I usually like to use a piece, a piece of felt so they don't roll, roll away. Um, you can have the child match the bead with a number card. like that. Okay. All right. So to start the lesson, we have three and we're going to find the three. Now at first it's okay to count, but eventually the child will learn, oh, the pink bar is always three. One, two, three plus five. And then we add them together, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three plus five equals eight. Let's look at the next one. Seven, so we're going to find the seven bar, plus two, okay. So we have seven, eight, nine. Seven plus two equals nine. And we'll continue on that way. Let's try one more. Two plus one. Okay, we have two, three. Two plus one equals three. And again, if the child needs to count the beads at first, that's perfectly okay, um, as they are probably still learning the combinations.